two Johnnies today. But Johnny, number one, Corcoran, you guys know. And Johnny Brown, we're gonna get him right in the vlog. Johnny Brown. Road national champion, you guys know that. Um, yeah, we'll do more with Johnny here. Hold on. What's up guys? CB back talking about a little group ride action here with Johnny Brown, Johnny Corcoran, Tyler Arnett in the light blue, Steve Brown right in front of me here in the polka dots black shorts. Um, God, I don't remember the other two guys' names. And a couple other guys. Solid group here. This was uh, BOS. You guys have seen this before. In fact, it might be my last video was a BOS ride, but Kind of random th today. Uh, we roll out, and um, Johnny Brown's just in town uh, visiting on holiday, and uh, he just wanted to ride a group ride, and somebody invited him out to the BOS ride. And man, was it cool to have the national champion, the current road race national champion, Johnny Brown, young kid, uh, awesome, awesome guy, great personality, gonna go a long way in the sport. Uh, in life in general, it was just it was just a great day, uh, and uh, I thought I'd bring you a lot of this last little portion of the climb here and just chat with you guys a little bit about the struggles that a guy that is six foot tall and weighs 162 pounds has with keeping up with guys that are, uh, you know, five, I don't know, Johnny Corcoran's like five foot ten. He'll probably get mad at me if I say five nine or something, and 150 pounds, and then you got Johnny Brown. I don't know his stats, you could probably look him up, but he's gotta be soaking wet 135 pounds, right? And we're climbing the whole time. So this is, I cut that first part short for you guys, did some little cuts there, but basically we've been climbing for, I think we climbed for like 40 minutes. It's like 2% is the least, and then it goes up like 7-8%. And I was okay for the first half, and then I took a pull back there somewhere which I kind of cut out my poles because they're kind of boring. There's nothing to see on the camera. But I took a pole and I was just like, look at me. I spread my peacock feathers on a pole. And then I was just on my heels the whole time. Like I couldn't get back to like a heart rate that, or a feeling that was like, okay, I'm safe again. Like I was, even at this 200 watts you're seeing right here on the screen, like I was like struggling. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna get dropped any moment. And these little rollers, I don't know if you guys, you guys have ridden rollers, so you know it's like a, you get this false sense of like safety and then you come to these things and these guys stand up and then it's like, oh my God, it hurts uh, when you have to be 400 watts. Anyway, that's kind of telling you where I'm at. Um, that first little, uh, those, uh, back to the first little clips there where I was like cutting, um, that was the first climb and then we regrouped after that and then we started this whole section, uh, which this section is a lot longer than I'm showing you. That first climb, Johnny and Johnny went away. I kind of hung out with guys my size. Uh, I feel like my fitness is pretty good. This this ride was is pretty much the weekend before the crit races start, which have already happened. That's right. I'm a little behind. Uh, I've been doing a lot of training on the bicycle, a lot of things in life, so I'm a little behind. I actually already, in fact, it's. I'm doing this video on Wednesday, the Wednesday after the Sunday of the first crit. So I've already done the crit races. If you guys follow me on Strava or Instagram, which you should, links in the description below, you know that I've already raced. Um, and that video, I actually already have uh, the layover of that video uh, done. 
dusted. It's 55 minutes. I'm going to bring you the whole 2-3 crit. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's coming up. Stay tuned for that. So yeah, we are working our way out towards Bartlett Lake. The entrance to Bartlett Lake, and as you see right now on the screen, Johnny and Johnny are attacking. And those three dudes right there try to go with it. And uh, Steve Brown just says to me, uh, let that go, don't worry about it, because right here I'm, I'm about dropped. And he said, just hold on, it'll come back, it'll come back. And uh, he, was, he was dead right. There's just times in rides where you know people, well, a veteran, right? I mean, Steve's been riding a little longer than me, I think. Someone that can read that better, I'm a little excitable, can read that and go like, look, that guy can't sustain that, it's gonna come back, just keep a nice steady pace. And you watch Team Sky do it all the time uh, in the in the Grand Tours and sure enough those guys come right back and then we're right in this little group here and this is about the group that I hang out in to the top here to the top of the climb if you will which continues on and you see you look around you'll see the three little guys up there Tyler Arnett is up there right now as well um, man they're fit they're fit and they're and they're small it's it's hard to keep up with small guys up the climb I was just watching uh, Tour Down Under. Richie Port weighs 127 pounds. Is that what I heard? That's crazy. That's a grown man, you know? So, yeah, weight matters. Don't let uh, anybody tell you it doesn't. Um, but it's more genetically, the genetically gifted weight, right? The weight we've been gifted by our, by our parents and grandparents. Don't think that, uh, you know, disc breaks is gonna be the difference. <laughs> You're either 100, you know, 27 pounds like Richie Port, or you're 160 pounds like me, and uh, yeah, you're carrying carrying a lot more weight. Anyway, so I'm just trying to hold on here best I can. I'm I'm using all my tricks, everything I got. Um, I felt pretty good today. I didn't reset any big power numbers, but it was just a long, long effort. Like I said, that one pull I took back um, on the way here, I was feeling really good. I think I got a little over my head with a pole. A little over my head with a pole. Um, what was I talking about? I was talking about some crit racing, like that video's coming. Um, yeah, man, it's just, it's been, I, I have a lot of footage. I haven't had time to sit down and like put it all together for you guys. It's, it's crazy long, the layover process for these, um, uh, for the data is just crazy long. I hope you guys appreciate that. You know, you see channels, cycling channels, not putting the power data over. And it's like, well, yeah, they're not putting the power data over. That, that allows them to put a video out every day. You know, like, I, I know there's vlog channels. I'm not gonna name names. I watch them, it's cool content. But when they show their ride footage, it's just like, there's no context to it. You're just like, well, what's going on on the screen? There's nothing going here. You know, that being said, I might start wearing a heart rate monitor just for you guys, just to add more to my screen. Um, but yeah, if you see a cycling channel, he's not throwing layover on there. I mean, you know, I don't know what you guys prefer. Maybe, maybe comment below. If you guys like the idea of more videos with no power data layover or no like information on what's going on on, on the ride itself. And you just want, you know, talking to the camera and then like me holding the camera and pointing it out into the desert with some slow-mo music type stuff. I can do that too. That's a lot easier. But I like this. I like, I like showing like what's going on here. You know, you can't hide from. As a, as a creator, you can't hide from your audience if you're willing to just throw your numbers up. And I like that. So anyway, we just turned the corner there. Um, I wanted to stop for that stop sign. I really did. But uh, I also didn't want to get dropped. We just turned the corner. This is the last little push here to what we call the towers, which is the entrance to Bartlett Lake. And um, the guy got shot out here on a bicycle like a month ago. He was riding out here solo in the middle of the day and somebody from one of these ranch houses out here uh, shot him. Got shot like in the, uh, didn't hit an organ, he's, he's okay. Um, I suppose he got shot. I, I have a little weird suspicion that he was, he had a pistol on him and it shot himself because I, I just don't, I don't know. It was kind of a weird story. But anyway, uh, Steve Brown here just lighting it up, man. Steve's strong. And I stand up here, I'm like, sh I, I'm now I'm like, oh God. I'm dying. Steve's dropping me. Arnett came back to us. He's he's going around me. I'm like opening gaps up here. Oh my gosh. 
I'm just thinking, man, anybody that comes by, I'm going to try to hold on at this point. I'm dying. I'm dying. This ride started out also with like 60 people. And this is like the select group of, of 10 of us here to the top. And people trickle, trickle in. I managed to hold on to, I think this is Matt French here. I managed to like scrape some effort. As you see, he kind of let off. So that gives me a little breather here. 200 watts feels so good. So good. Coming to the end here, guys. Coming to the end. Thanks for watching. Um, man, thanks for clicking on the video. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It's below. It's just a quick little link. Bam, hit it. Uh, make sure to hit the bell. Follow me on Instagram. I'm starting to be active on Instagram. I did a little live look in to the crit race on Sunday. So if you want to see a little live look in this coming Sunday, because there's another crit, follow me on Instagram. I'll do an Instagram live there. Uh, hit me up, say what's up. Um, yeah, I might do it on Facebook as well, a Facebook Live thing, because more people follow me on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, go follow Cycling Virgin. I'll do that live feed. You can kind of see what's going on before the races. We're gonna descend, we're gonna press coffee. Thanks for watching, guys. Just a quick one today. Crit season starts next weekend. Week from today. Next weekend, we're there. Well, week from tomorrow. Week from tomorrow. So, next video you see might be Avondale 1, uh, 2 3 race. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Thanks, guys.